actually not being a, I don't really hear much from the outside. Like if, so they built this house next to us. I was working in here and they were building that house and there was literally like, um, tr trucks and excavators barreling down 10 feet from my house. And other than some like rumble in my room a little bit and like kind of a faint noise, I really, I kept working with literal construction equipment right outside my studio. So, um, I think we, we did a good job. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be, uh, that good from the outside, you know? So that was awesome. Yeah, mu musically, it, um, yeah, I'd gotten into the licensing thing and was just making music in bedrooms and figuring out what I was supposed to do with all this music stuff. I was making some money with licensing and it was, it was good, but then I needed to get a little more serious with it. And so that's, yeah, that's kind of what brought on the whole studio aspect of things, taking it more seriously. And then, um, yeah, I'm... I got into film scoring through some local companies and then through networking I was able to get into like trailer music and commercials and ads just kind of being in the right place at the right time and uh, connecting with the right people um, and then yeah that things kind of blew up from there and was able to yeah stay busy and make full-time composing my my living could quit the cleaning job on the weekend you know <laughs> And uh, that was a good feeling to finally just be like, okay, I'm going to do this music thing and be all in. And the time has come where we have to, you know, sort of put me in a corner of the house where the kids can't, you know, bother me and knock on the door uh, as much <laughs> and stuff. So, um, yeah, then, then I, I got with you again and, um, yeah, you were able to just like sort of conceptualize this thing for me because I had like the idea in my head but I didn't know kind of where to start or what to do or what to tell the architect and um, so it was great to have you sort of uh, guiding me through the process even though we're a state apart yeah. even though you weren't able to be here you were able to sort of give me all the guidance that I could tell my, my builder and the subs that were helping with this thing um, and so that was great and so then sort of isolating everything and making me soundproof in here gave me the privacy that i needed to um work effectively as i'm doing long hours i'm not getting the interruptions not hearing things that are going on in the rest of the house for the most part and um so yeah that's that's what led me to here yeah. uh but um yeah mu musically it, uh, I, I like a simplistic approach to things. I don't have a ton of gear. I don't have a ton of like frills and things like that. So I wanted it to be sort of streamlined, um, look nice. I wanted the space to feel, um, feel creative, feel clean, not stressful at all. So I wanted to sort of create a warm tone. So that was a big part of it. It's just the feel of the room. Um, and then having, you know, windows in the proper spot so that I can get some natural light. I was coming from a studio that had no windows. And so just to be able to incorporate windows correctly was, is a game changer. And now I can get light and I won't, you know, end up looking like Gollum five years from now. And so, um, that was great. And then really just, uh, soundproofing as much as I, I could was, was really probably 60% of, you know, why, why I'm here now. So, it was taking all those precautions that I could do now from the ground up, uh, like um, yeah, having the Roxel insulation, the resilient channel, the double layer drywalls with the green glue and you know everything, and um, and just make it so that I was giving myself the quietest space I could conceivably get in my house because I didn't want to leave my home. That was the thing. I have three kids. I have a wife. I we've sort of figured out a rhythm of me being home. And um, so I didn't want to leave uh, all the time because my job is so 
all of a sudden things they need something at 11 p.m. and so to have to go drive 20 minutes would you know be a, a deal breaker kind of so um, yeah I would say yeah the 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 ambiance of the room and and more importantly just making it isolated and putting it in a place where there isn't going to be a lot of foot traffic going into a studio is a daunting thing i mean i for somebody who knows how to do music but the treatment end of things you know i know very little i know you need absorption i know you need some bass traps uh and maybe some diffusion but outside of that it's like how where do we put things where does so um i reached out to you because um I, you had a long list of, of clients you've worked with. I, I know you personally from back in the day, you helped me when I wasn't, when my career hadn't taken off yet. And I always said like, when I can do it, I'm gonna call you back and um, I'm gonna have you design my, my studio. And so it's kind of cool now to be able to have you sit here. It was all of these people that you were able to connect me with um, and everybody that you work with I enjoyed working with everybody was extremely nice very patient with me who has a ton of questions and wants to be very careful because this is where I make my living and so um, I was trying to take all the precautions I mean even how to put the the, the um, green glue like to you know is, am I doing this right and um, so yeah, I, I appreciate all of that and that's what, what'll make me always come back to you for any studio I do in the future.